surface. And what do you see down there below you? The French Quarter. Ah, the French Quarter. Very nice. And I want you to look where you're standing. Where are you standing? Outside of St. Louis Cemetery. Ah, very good. And I want you to just look down where you're standing. And what are you wearing on your feet? Or are you wearing anything? I don't see anything. Ah, very good. And I want you to feel your body. What does your body feel like? Floating. Ah, you're just floating. Very, very good. And uh, I want you to, you see the cemetery, but I want you to turn around behind yourself and just tell me, what do you see behind you? The buildings, the terraces, and the old architecture, oh, the shutters. Very nicely, very nicely. And uh, do you see any type of vehicles or anything, transports of any kind? No. Do you see any people or any movement or anything at all? No. Ah, very good. And so what I'd like you to do right now is I just want you to float straight up in the air, float straight up in the air. And I want you to get a big picture of the cemetery and the entire surrounding area. Are you floating up in the air? Mm -hmm. How does it feel to float up in the air? Light. Oh, very good. Okay, and as, as you look out of, about the scene, do you see any type of movement whatsoever? Mm -hmm. No, it's really quiet. Very quiet. Okay, very nicely. So I want you to come down all the way back down to where you were. Now there's a reason why you're standing in front of that cemetery. And I want you to innately go to where you're supposed to go in that cemetery and see what you're supposed to see. And you're going to be there in the count of five, four, three, halfway there, two, almost there, and one. Where are you now? Looking at tombstones. And what particular tombstone is directly in front of you? I don't know. Is it because you can't read the inscription or there no, is none? It doesn't look like there's really one or it's too weathered. So it looks like it's been sort of uh uh, phased off or something, huh? Yeah, but the marble's beautiful. Ah, oh, very nice. And I want you to reach out and touch it if you can. Can you touch the marble? Mm -hmm. And as you're touching the marble, I want you to look at your hand. And just look at your hand. Can you see your hand touching the marble? Mm hmm. And what does your hand look like? A hand. My hand. What color is it? My color. And what color are you? Light brown. Very good. And now that you're touching it, do you uh, have a body now? I want you to feel yourself. Are you male or female? I don't see my body, but I feel female. You don't see your body, but you feel female, but yet. So how did your hand manifest then? Because it likes touching the tombstones. Oh. I like feeling the rock. So did you just instantly manifest your hand to be able to make that feeling then? It feels cool. Oh, very good. And that particular tombstone that you're in front of, is there any other tombstones in that area? Oh, there's hundreds of them. 
So the one that you're standing in front of, no inscription, no anything, right? Mm -mm. And I want you to walk up to the next one beside it. Can you see that inscription there? Mm -mm. So as you look around, can you see any inscriptions on any of them at all? No, I just see the shapes. Ah, oh, very and good. What they're made out of. Well, let's move to where you live there. Let's move to where you live or where you live there. And we're going to be there in a count of five, four, three, halfway there, two, almost there, and one. You're there. Where are you at now? Canal Street. And what is the place that you live in? What does that look like? I don't know if it's mine. I asked you to go to where you lived at, and if that's where you arrived at, I'm sure that's where you live. But I don't know if it's my house. And how do? You, what do you mean you don't know if it's your house? Why would you take yourself there then? You could have gone to a thousand other places. I like that house. Okay. So, I mean, right now, there you are. I think you're thinking and you're asking questions and you're doubting everything. And so that's how this is going to go. If I ask you to go to your place and you end up in front of a place, more than likely that's your place. But right now you're like, well, that might not be my house. Are we going to do this the whole way through? Or are you going to just... No. Okay, so I, I have faith. So how would you get into that place that you're in front of? Go ring the doorbell. Ah, very good. And go ahead and ring the doorbell if you can. Did the doorbell ring? Could you hear it? It's one of those delayed, like pull the old string. Ah, very nicely. And did it, did it, when you pulled it, did it ding? Yeah. Ah, very nicely. How did the sound of it sound? What did it sound like? Clanky. Oh, clanky. Very good. And you've only rung it one time, is that correct? Mm-hmm. Okay, and I just want you to look around you. Is there anyone else around you? Anyone on the street? No, it's just a big porch. Ah, very good. And so let's go ahead and give it another ring. What just happened? Some, some, something. Somebody came to the door. Ah, very nicely. And did you get a, did they open the door? No, I just saw their image through the glass. It scared me. Okay. That's okay. Don't be afraid. You're totally protected. You're just visiting. That's what normally happens when you ring on a door, though, right? Someone comes? Yeah. Very good. You're not afraid, are you? No. Okay, very good. It just startled me. Ah, excellent. So have they opened the door yet? Yeah, they've got to open all these locks. Okay, very good. Be patient. Do you see a number on the door or on the place? No, but it's like a French door, so only part of it opens, but both can open. Ah, very good. And have the have they opened it all the way yet? They open one side. Yeah. Ah, very good. And will you go ahead and step in? You're totally safe. And who answered the door? A man. Ah, oh, and do you recognize the man? No. Very good. And has is he smiling? Mm-hmm. Well, go ahead and greet him and say hello. Hello. And what does he ask? Uh, what does he say? What? How did he greet you? Welcome. Ah, oh, very good. And ask him what is this place here? You're just curious. He'll answer. What is this place here?
It's a historical home. Oh, very nicely. And ask him, were you one of the residents there at this home at one time? Was I one of the residents? Does he recognize you? No. He said it was a really old house. Oh, very good. And what is his pos his position there in the house? He takes care of it. Ah, oh, so he's a caretaker. Caretaker. But and, he lives there. And he, and he does live there. Ask him, does he live alone? Do you live alone? He has dogs. Ah, oh, very good. And ask him, could you have a tour of the place, please? May I have a tour? He's got a big living room. Ah, uh, so he's he's granting you a tour? Mm-hmm. Very good. I have a feeling that you may have lived in that house before. So just go ahead and I want you to look at everything and see if you recognize anything. Are there any old pictures or paintings on the wall? It's decorated. Like old. Victorian, but it has a huge fireplace. Beautiful. And how was the gentleman dressed? He's he's just got like um, a sweater and just dark pants. Casual. And what about his his shirt? How does he look like he's dressed for the times, or does he look like he's modernly dressed? He, he's modern. And look at his shoes. What do they look like? House shoes. <laughs> he got them out shoes. Very nicely. And he had no problem unlocking all those locks and letting you in, right? Uh-uh. He's expecting me. Ah, and ask him what is his name. What is your name? Larry. Ah, uh, hello, Larry. And ask Larry, how does he know you and how how does he know you? How do you know me? He said, I go there all the time. Ah, uh, you come to visit all the time. Mm -hmm. And ask him, what is your name? What is my name? Just say what he says, don't... I can't hear him. Ah. So before when he spoke to you, how did you hear it? It was normal. Okay. So, say, so ask him, can you repeat that again and just say it a little louder and you'll be able to hear what he says. Can you repeat that? Please. Please. It's like when he talks, his mouth is muted. Ah, interesting. And ask them, does he know who owned the house previously? Do you know who owned the house previously? He said it was um, a prominent either businessman or doctor or both. Was he married? Yes, he said he built it for his wife. Ah, oh, very good. Were you his wife? Just ask him. Was I his wife? He says he doesn't think so because it was over a hundred years ago. Ah, oh, very good. And um, if you come to visit all the time, why are you coming to visit all the time? Because of the room. Which room is that? The biggest room on the second floor. 
Ah, uh, very good. And how are you connected to that big room on the second floor? When I'm in the room, my bed shakes. While you're on the bed, it shakes? Mm-hmm. And so was this a bed and breakfast, or was it a bed and breakfast at any time, or? It is now. Oh, very good. And why was he expecting you? Mardi Gras. And do you come every year for Mardi Gras? Do I come every year for Mardi Gras? You ask him, do you come there every year for Mardi Gras? I said, do I come every year for Mardi Gras? Oh, okay, I'm sorry, you're repeating every question. Understood. Very good, I love it. He said I, I didn't come the last three years. Okay, but you were, he was expecting you this year. How did he know you were going to come this year? Did you make reservations? Did I make reservations? Yes. Ah, oh, good. And is he going to take you to the room that you stayed in before? Have you? Are you there now? At the, I'm at the top of the stairs. Ah, oh, very good. And I want him to go ahead and take you to your favorite room. He's got the key. Oh, excellent. The old key with the dingling hanging thing off of it. Mm-hmm. Does he open the door for you? Uh-huh. Very nicely. Now I want you to go on in and just describe this big, beautiful room. Uh, they block. What they block? The fireplace. It, it doesn't burn wood anymore. What does it look like? It's brick and black uh, wrought iron. So they bricked in the entire... No, it's the mantle's brick, but where you would burn logs is wrought iron, but it's blocked off. Do you think it was a fire hazard? Oh, no. I don't know. And... Oh, it's still got its transcom Not very at the nicely. top of the door. And it's open. And are you familiar with all of these things here in this home? No, it seems different. And do you think this is because it's changed, modernized just a little? Yeah. And does that disturb you? Yeah. And why does that disturb you? Because it's not like I remember. Oh, very good. And so ask Larry, why were the things moved and changed? Larry, why did you change things? He says, remodeled the bathroom. Had to tear out a wall. So the room got smaller, but the bathroom got bigger. I don't like the bathroom. Ask him what year is this? What year is this? Eighty? Nineteen eighty? Yeah. That's okay. So it's 1980? Yeah. And I want you to look around the room. Do you see the, uh, see a mirror? Yeah. I want you to go stand in front of the mirror and get a really good look at yourself. Can't see. 
see. So you're standing in front of the mirror and there's nothing to see. No, I can't see. What do you mean you can't see? I know I'm standing in front of the mirror. But there's just light. Just the light? Light where my reflection would be. I can't see. Your body? Yeah, or my face or a frame. Understood. And so can you see around you? The things behind you? Yeah, the bed and the window. And I want you to ask uh, Larry, is he psychic? Larry, are you psychic? No, I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> so I want you to ask Larry, Larry, why can I see you and communicate with you and I look in this mirror and I can't see myself? He knows. Larry, how come I can see you but I can't see myself in the mirror. Larry says he doesn't know. He just took over. And who did he take over for? The um, original owner's last relative. And was I it? Think was it a male or a female? Male. And you think what? I think he bought the house and changed it. Into a bed and breakfast. Yes. And the other times that you've came, that you came to the place, were you coming as a client or as a tenant to stay there? I know this house. Are you thinking too much? I know your mind is moving a thousand miles a minute. You're I'm trying to figure around, everything out. I'm looking around the room. Mm-hmm. The bed is really, really, really high. How tall are you? Taller than the dresser. How old do you feel? Young. But n not too young. And ask Larry what else could he show you there in that home? Does he have any pictures or any etchings of the original owners? Larry, do you have pictures of the original owners? He's got a... It's in the room. It's like in a frame. Very nicely. And go ahead and take a peek at it and see what it looks like. It's an old newspaper clipping. Very nicely. And what do the owners look like in the picture? It's not. It's one of those pencil renderings of a family. Okay, very nicely. And do they look like they're people of color or are they white or? It's in sepia brown. Understood. So, but you can't look at the features or anything? How do they look? They... Creole. Very nicely. I can't tell. But I don't know if... I don't know what he was. Or she was. No, uh inscription under the bottom of it or anything? Oh, it, it, it tells about how successful he is. And what type of business was he running in order to have such a big, beautiful home? 
Oh. Are you he reading? designed. He designed the house. Very good. And is that what it's reading in that small print? Yeah, he designed it for his wife. Very good. And can you see his wife? She looks creole. And take a long, slow, deep breath. Inhale big through your nose, and you're going to feel a sense of calm and relaxation coming over your body very nicely. And so you see the picture, and is Larry still standing there? He left. Very good. And I want you to go ahead and go ahead and close the door. And you see, is there a chair there or anything? What just happened now? Heavy door. Slam. Oh, the door slammed? So it was big door, huh? The doors in the home are big. They're the original doors. Oh, very nicely. And I want you to look around the room. Are there any closets or anything? Uh, they changed it. There. Now there's 